Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Last time, we continued making our way through the Lakeside Laboratory. We got the blue key card. We beat the crap out of Karna and Kurt and uh, Grant. So now we're finally on the fourth floor after we were told that there's yet somebody else here that we need to uh, beat up. Um, and in preparation for that, because I'm pretty sure I know exactly who it is, I put Zinn in my party. Because, you know, extra dialogue and all that kind of good stuff. I mean, might as well. Wow, we've got lots of monuments around here. I don't really need to use them or anything, but, eh, nice to have. Oh, it's the Ouroboros, the snake eating itself. Huh. There's nobody here. Yeah, it's just like a crystal throne or something. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Um, as you recall in second chapter, the rooftop for landing the airships is where Estelle was captured by, um, Ouroboros and Vicemen and all those, and Lul and all those people, um, and taken captive onto the, uh, Glorious. Oh. And who are you? Oh, hey, hey, it is Kilika. Yeah. I figured as much. Actually, Zen, you didn't say shit because you weren't in my party earlier. Went back and I did this special for you viewers. Hope you appreciate it. Probably not. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seriously, like, you could be nice. Yeah. I really hope that these two get married or something during the ending. They're really a cute couple. I like them together. Um, yeah, kinda, sort of. I hoped. Oh, Zen didn't hope. I hoped! I'm always down for true love. Um, yeah, pretty much. You're just kind of here to be the second guardian. You're not really here. It's not like you were sucked in here. It's just kind of like a form of yourself. Um, and we're going to fight. Whoa! What you got there? Oh, chakrams? Huh. Oh, well, how else would you use them? I mean, we use them as throwing weapons in the secret of mana, so I'd ma imagine that you would use them the same way here. Is there really any other game where you use chakras besides Secret of Mana? Although there it was really a boomerang, but you know, whenever you kind of, I don't know, upgraded it or you had it forged with Watts, then uh, he turned him into chakras eventually. They would kind of go back and forth. I liked the throwing weapons of the ranged weapons in that game. Better than that, those crappy ass gloves that they gave you, those things sucked. Whoa! Not Jaegers this time! Holy shit! Oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, bring it on, bitch! Let's do it! For boss time! Against Kilika herself! Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, Kilika there. Okay, little we'll chakrams. And becomes angry! A power of anger, as usual. Yeah, we've seen that before. Okay, so since they're nice and close together, we're going to use Mortal Punishment. We don't have to use Onlace to kind of, you know, suck them all together. So, that's kind of nice. We can start on our offense. Pretty, pretty quickly. Um, I'm just going to have you honestly just kind of attack. Because she doesn't really have any good ranged attacks. She really doesn't. It kind of sucks. Um, he really doesn't have that many good ranged attacks either. But I want to, I do kind of want to check out this. Yeah. His S-Craft, which we haven't yet seen. Hey, that's some pretty nice damage, better than the other damage from the other S-Crafts that we've been using lately. So, yeah. And then Titanic World with Julia, as usual. And what's she going to do? Oh wow, her attack sucks. Like, you don't have anything better than that? Seriously? During my test run, she used her S-Craft against me. I'm kind of shocked that she didn't use it this time. Oh, and they all moved away! Uh, oh well, Onlace's turn is coming up pretty soon, so I can't suck them all back together. That'd be kind of nice. Oh wow! Wow, I'm like really kicking their ass, aren't I? Can I get both of them? No, I can't. That sucks. Um, anything else that I could maybe kind of do? No, that's not going to work either. And I don't really want to waste your S-Craft for right now. Who has the most HP? You do. So, BAM! Uh, all lace. Let's see about sucking these guys together, or at least maybe yeti. I, I guess just these two. Although it's not really that big of a deal. 
because once they use Julia's next spell, she's just going to kill them all anyway. You know what? Okay, yeah, I, I was going to say maybe I should just use like, a quick casting spell and just take them out that way, but it honestly really doesn't matter because I'm going to kill these guys right here, and then more than likely, Zin's probably going to kill Killika, which is actually kind of fitting, you know? Like a little lover's quarrel, I guess. If you have enough range. You don't! Do you have a craft that has enough, enough range? Um, this? No. This? No. <laughs> no, you don't! Okay, so yeah. Uh, we'll let Julia take her out. Why not? Doesn't really matter. Okay, hey, awesome. Silver gem. Not that I'm really gonna use it, but it's there. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, totally. Yeah, seriously. Like, you're so into your fighting and everything, and you're so good at it. It is kind of shocking that you just spent your life behind a desk. Oh. Hmm. I don't think so, because it's not like you're really here. Oh. That's kind of creepy, like, in, like, okay, in this little dream world, I get it, I get them fighting together, but in the real world, them fighting? Like, I could see practice, but, like, really, like, going at it, using the chakrams, like, fighting to the death and all that? Like, that's a bit too much, if I do say so myself. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, well, great, awesome. Oh, great. That's just lovely. I can't wait for more challenges. But yeah, we're halfway done, so pretty cool. Awesome. And with this, yet another one of these um, monuments lights up, and the flavor of the month that we have for this monument is Richard. So, yeah. We're going to have to go ahead and uh, kick everybody out of my party. I might keep Zen, and we shall see. Um, it really just depends on levels, but... I'm definitely going to be kicking out Onlace because she's been in here for two places, and um, I'm going to be putting Richard into my party, some other people into my party, and also at this point in time, the dialogue here changes, so I'm going to be having that in the end slate, so catch you in a second. Okay, I went and I switched my party around, I brought in uh, Oliver, Richard, as well as Mueller, and I'm on the Herb Scenic Route south of where Chloe's monument was, so let's head on inside. Yeah, just make sure you have Richard. You'll be fine. Impregnable Fortress? The Divine Blade successor? Huh. Well, who could that possibly be? Oh. Oh. Do you? Yeah, we kind of do. <laughs> if you're wondering who the Divine Blade is, that's Cassius. Basically, in order to get the title of Divine Blade, you have to be a master of of the Eight Leaves, One Blade school. So it's kind of strange how it's not on lace, considering that's like all of her crafts, but it's actually, shockingly, Richard. So yeah, whatever. I mean, I guess they are good friends now, or at least they train together or they work together or something. So what's this impregnable fortress that they were talking about? Oh, well, where are we? What is it? Oh, Lyston Fortress! Hey, hey, awesome! Well, thanks for opening up the doors for us. I love how the Lord Phantasma does such like, nice things for us. He's like, I really don't want you to pass, but hey, let me just open up this door for you. That'll be fine. <laughs> oh. Oh, um, yeah. What have you been sucked into this? I hope it's not Cassius. Man, he'd be really tough to beat. But there's some other people here who we've, um, had to fight. Well, not had to fight, but have met here. Let's go ahead and activate this monument, and then let's get the hell out of here! I don't want to go in there. Screw that. What if there's Cassius waiting for us? Oh, hey, we got a treasure. Oh, yeah. And we can't leave. There's a gate. So, really, the only reason why I went back there is for that one little kind of... It's not really hidden. But, you know what I mean, little treasure over there. 
and there's no more treasures to be found um, over here. So let's just uh, look around this fortress and get into some more battles. Ooh, preemptive attack. Nice. Let's see what we got going on here. The Ash Sabers, resistant to arts but weak to physical hits. And uh, recovers by draining prey. Screw that. Or we could just, you know, kill you in one shot. That always works too. It's my favorite thing to do. Oh, and if you're wondering, as usual, I have Renee on support. You know, it's the experience and seven. It's like a killer winning combination. I love how they're buffing, like, themselves just to die. <laughs> it's like, I know that we're all dead, but let's buff up anyway. Sure. Whatever. Why not? What have we got going on in here? Another open door. Ooh, and I see some treasure. Can't wait for that. What is it? Whoa! Who's there? What's going on? Oh my god! Holy crap! Whoa! Oh no, we've been spotted at this airship! Holy crap! How are we ever gonna get away from this? Yeah, no kidding! Okay. Whoa! Run for your lives! It's the Siege of Abul! Where we kept on giving ground. Even though we really didn't need to. But, sure. <laughs> there we actually kind of did need to. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Well, sure. Why not? Yeah. No kidding. But I don't want to go back through there again. That place is crazy. We've already seen those guys. And uh, right here in the middle, where is it? There it is. We have some more treasure. Ooh, the master beads. Those protect you against sleep as well as confuse. So, could be kind of handy. And let's keep on going over through here. There's no treasure through here. And what lies beyond this door? Find out next time. And let's play the Lindiers, Trails in the Sky the Third. And stick around for the end slate where I go around it. Talk to everybody. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.
Thank you.